All right, guys, what's going on? This is uh, this is myself. You guys know who I am. This is my, my buddy, Tardio, Matt Tardio. He does the Speak the Truth podcast with me. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm going to be start making content a ton more for Lunkers. And I've been saying this, but I've been waiting on a certain backpack to get here. I'm going to be going live. Yes, live stream hunting, buying guns at pawn shops, doing all the content you guys have seen me do over the last seven years. But I'm going to be doing it randomly, possibly here on YouTube, but mostly on Twitch. So if you guys want to go follow me on Twitch, go over there and do it. If you want to watch the content I've been making literally over the last seven years, eight years, we're going to be watching, I'm talking hunting live from a, a stand, like legitimately hunting live from the deer stand, okay? Hunting live pigs, hunting live helicopter hog hunting, uh, going in and buying guns from, if that, if, that, if that kind of content interests you, go over to the description, click on it, and I'll take you guys over to Twitch, go ahead and follow it. I'll be going live possibly tomorrow with a test stream, so that could be kind of fun, but next week we're going to be starting the whole lake build the, all that stuff up on my new land open of Oklahoma that I purchased. So if you guys want to check that out and want to see it live actually be done, it'll be over on Twitch. It's a baller setup. It's it's, it's a baller it's setup. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. So yeah. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to launch that. So if you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked to the top of the description. Go follow me over on Twitch. Now, these videos you haven't seen, I've kind of pieced through it. Now, the guy we're about to watch out the gate, I'm already speaking to this guy directly. So I'm pretty excited. This, the first clip we're going to watch is from a guy named Siv Div. I've got a mixture of years in here. I have, I've just pieced through them just a little bit, but I haven't fully watched them. Yep. We've got Ukrainian war, Iraq war. Nice. But Iraq war pre you. Nice. Like, like a footage I've never seen before in my entire nice. life. Nice. Um, and then Afghanistan, which, I mean, we've spent enough time in Afghanistan shooting that stuff. So love it. Let's go over to the old, uh, that cam over there, and I'm ready to go when you are. I'm excited. I'm ready, bro. You ready? Oh, hey, do you have it set up on the back end so they can actually hear the audio? You know, I might turn it up just a tad bit more for them. Yeah, because I'll do that. I didn't think about it. I'm glad I said something. Good? Yeah. Not going to be blown out or anything? Okay, I got I got faith in your abilities and I trust you. All right, let's kick this thing on. You got the you're 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 ahead of the wheel here. I'm ready. All right, I'm ready? excited. Yeah. Well, so we're gonna be starting off inside of Ukraine. All right. So face out, take a knee. Oh yeah, you might want to turn turn it up on our end. I want I want to hear a little bit more because he does talk quite a bit in this. So they had thrown, I believe, a frag grenade at a BMP. They threw a frag at a BMP? I think, yeah, see, yeah. They think they did that, but they're... Oh, yeah. Like, they're, they're they're moving or assaulting on an objective, I believe, here. And there's a BMP in there. Uh, they know. It sounds it's, like they're trying to get the actual attention of the BMP. Yeah. That's why they chucked the frag at it and start rushing it to get, get them pulled away. That's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> So this isn't all like uh, all English speaking unit, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and then, I mean they're not all from them. I think the guy that we're watching here uh, was in the Marines. He's fought in Iraq, Syria, yep. Afghanistan, Ukraine. Like he is salty. He looks literally to be about my age, to be honest with you. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he yeah, does yeah. not look very old. Right now, he's in an entirely different country. <laughs> I like how that word is translated, like. It's probably a dude's name. They don't know how to say his last name. It's probably Jabroni. It was called Jabroni. He's like all jacked up. I mean, you know that there's none of this is clear where they're moving like they are. Yeah, no. Like this dude is walking like. Door to the right. Got it. Door left. 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 Door left.
BS. Like these guys are actually experienced. Like they've already got their weapons switched over to semi, which a lot of like Americans would be like, oh no, that's so unsafe. But it's not. Like get that shit. Like if get it ready. Like if you're expecting dudes to be in that room, get it ready. If you're pine off a door, you're pine off a window. Flick that sucker off. If you guys don't know, he was he was a special forces guy. We were together in Afghanistan and so on and so forth in Iraq and just he you know he kind of knows what he's talking about. Just a very small bit. Or yeah. flick it again. See, he never flags either. He's done, he does a really good job this entire time. It has something to do. They're, they're still maneuvering on this, this BMP, by oh, the way. Someone had been on that wall previously that was getting shot at. Look how jacked up that wall is. Oh, it's just eight. And this, by the way, his M4 is auto, fully auto. Yeah. So a lot of people at home, they see that hit, that selector is, that the third one is not three-round burst. Where? I love the fact he's just using a straight up red dot. Mm-hmm. Nothing fancy. Yeah, you know, like those 68s, yeah. like, is what they are, whatever, the aim points. They are much older technology. They're a little bit janky. They have like a four MOA dot inside of them, but it does give you like really good control over like the brightness and whatnot on them. They interface really well with your nods. So you can crank they're, it way down. Look I think your they're, great, see it. they're great for CQB, though. But they're strong as hell, and they yeah. are good for CQB. Yeah. Look at that Mark 19 down there. Yep. <laughs> First, he was like, you stole my thunder. No, He's like, no, no you they missed. didn't. You didn't steal my thunder. That's a long shot. A long like shot. That, yeah. And if you've never shot like a shoulder fired rocket before it is very difficult to aim those things. It takes a lot of practice and anything pretty much honestly over like 200 meters. It's like a, a shot in the dark. That's where they're going to hit that thing. Yeah. Look at this. I, I like leaving these pits in so people can actually see like what is going on behind the scenes of a, of yeah. a, a you know, like what's actually happening. I'll tell you what that guy's doing. He's eyeballing that motorcycle being like, can I take this? Is <laughs> <anybody> like, <laughs> What a different life. He's trying to have a conversation, RPG head in the armpit, just hanging out. The sniper's shooting with a suppressed, it sounds like. Maybe it's not a sniper, but someone's laying down with the suppressor. Yeah, it's just somebody shooting past him there. No, there had to be a suppressor, right? I thought I heard a suppressor. You might have. I heard stuff going past him, which I think is why he turned around and got his attention. A good way to start today. Difficult to comprehend the adrenaline jump that they're experiencing. So here's the crazy part, right? As you're doing this for a while, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe other people's experiences may vary. I know on my end, like you get, you do get like decent adrenaline going in and out, but if you're doing this for a while and you're actually tired, that adrenaline dump wears off real quick. Yeah. And then it just turns into like, Oh my God, can this day ever end? You know what I mean? And you're just, you're just sucking. I'm like sitting here waiting to see a suppressor. I swear to God, I heard a suppressor. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I don't see it though. I didn't even see the suppressor. I see a guy with an actual scope on a rifle though. Oh yeah, look, a little loophole. I actually have that. Loophole LPBO. I have the I have that scope. There's a scope. Yeah, it's an actual. It's like a. Oh now. We're, oh here uh, we go. Now we're in the stand. Here That's now. That's easily recognizable. Yeah, Afghanistan, one million percent. Second ID. I'm gonna say right now, this guy is either the team leader or a squad leader. I don't know which which he is. Now I feel like I might have seen this before. I I kind of pieced through this video a little bit. There's one thing that confused me. So they have a guy that's doing his job up here. I don't know if he's EOD. He's probably just an infantry guy that's trained to do it more than likely. Mm-hmm. But what was confusing is the guy that has a 240, which you're about to see right there which they're going to initiate contact on because I was just scanning through to make sure it was an actual firefight. 
look what's on his back, and it's really confusing to me. Oh, Oof. there's in contacts initiated. Now, to me, so he's going to lay down some, some scunion here, which he needs to. Mm -hmm. But a 240 gunner probably shouldn't be carrying the I'm, minesweeper, right? I'm, I'm not sure why he's carrying that. It's very strange. Class, I don't man. know what happened prior for him to be. He probably shouldn't be carrying that. No. But maybe someone had gotten injured and they took it from him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, there's, there's his, uh, his um, AG. I mean, he had an extra barrel in there. I mean, this to me is a little. 200 round belts. Yeah, I don't know. It's just. I think we were just. You trained us. It does a little bit different. Probably should have had those things maybe prepped and. Oof, came again on him. Doesn't seem to be prepped that good. Came from the other way. You know what I mean? No, nah, I mean, like, really, what he's doing, he's just holding it down. And the reason he's got probably broken to those 100 round belts because it's not in freaking nut sacks or anything like that. And so they don't want to have it, like, extremely strung out to be, like, yeah. 300 rounds long because, I mean. I suppose you could and just break them off as you go, but why do that when it's already 100 round belts? It's, it's just kind of it's just different to me. Like when I pulled this up, like that guy, one million percent should not have the no. minesweeper on his back. No, he shouldn't. Shouldn't. Interesting thing about that particular minesweeper, that one's actually has a GPR ground penetrating radar, so it doesn't just go for uh, doesn't just go for metal. Metal, yeah, it also goes for like anomalies in the soil. Yeah, like I, I'm I'm a little confused why that guy has it, but it is all good. Also, if like unclip that shit, he's gonna be there for a sec. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just like they, I already know what's going on here. So they they must have an element at the very end of this hallway, clearly. Yeah. Because everybody's just hanging out. He's trying to put it in this nut sack, which probably shouldn't. Just don't even worry about it at this point. Is that a nut sack? Yeah. Yeah. Not probably just don't even worry about it at this point. You're gonna be stuck right there anyway. Uh, maybe he wants to give it to him for maneuver, though. You know what I mean? Nah. I guess I could see that. If they get up. Maybe doesn't know what a nutsack is. It clips on the bottom of these 240s. We also have them for saws and 48s and so on and so forth. Oh, he just said screw it. Well, I was looking at it myself. He was putting them in oh, backwards. backwards. Oh, okay. And yeah, I was like, it's like, been a minute, but I don't think he's putting them in right. <laughs> he's putting yeah, them backwards out the gate. On. I've done that before. I mean, everybody's done that. <laughs> So, this is one of those. It's one of those kind of weird situations. They're definitely doing a big clearing op because you hear air overhead. Yeah. All right. I got you another you go. Oh, he's got spicy rounds. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm just if, this, if that is his AG I'm and he broke it off like that, he might not. He might have broke off that little belt for when they're walking around. So he's just got a tiny little like ten or twenty round starter belt dangling off the gun so and then throw the nut sack on. But that guy hates his life right now. Which one, the gunner or the the, the team leader with the damn the, the grenadier? Yeah, he. Well, I mean, he put it's a team leader for sure, or some type of because they call him sergeant here in a second. Okay, pause it real quick. Pause, pause, just pause it for one second. This is when they realized. This is when they realized and said, uh oh, he may have found out we didn't have as much ammo on us as we probably should have. Because right. they're counting out rounds. It's like, how did you shoot through that many rounds already? Yeah, so I <laughs> he's, got. He's realizing right now. I got in a freaking argument with one of our infantry uplift guys over in Afghanistan. Because, like, I, I told the gunner, like, we're going to be up on this mountaintop alone and unafraid. And it was outside of a village with probably, I don't know, estimated like 200 ISIS fighters in it, something like that. You know what I mean? And I found this like back way into it and I figured out like that's the way they're going in and going out. Well, I wanted to set a sniper position up on this, this hilltop that looked down and into it. And so I was bringing a gun team up there with me, you know, like, cause everybody else from ISIS, the thousands of dudes would pour through that hillside once I, we started opening up on them. So I wanted to have a gun up there to plug that hole. And we're by ourselves alone and afraid. I got it like me and a gun team, you know what I mean? And a, and a, another teammate up on, on, up on this freaking ridge line. And I'm like, they're like, so how much ammo you want us to bring? It's like, uh, double basic load would be nice. <laughs> like, that'd be great, you know? Like, 1,600 rounds sounds about, makes me quasi-comfortable. You know, you have a three-man gun team. You can make that happen. And, uh, dude, five minutes later, the platoon sergeant comes up to me, whining and complaining. He's like, bro, 
that's a really steep hill. <laughs> and I was like, okay. He's like, I mean, like 800 rounds seems like it'd be enough, right? It was like 200 guys in a ville, thousands over that hill, and your guys are supposed to be my butt plug. You know what I mean? To stop like, no, 800 is not enough. I was like, dude, like even let's say it's six to 800 rounds a minute, right? So even a, you're giving your guys literally one minute of trigger time with 800 rounds and we're on a hill by ourselves. And he's like, no, I mean, like, that's excessive, man. Like, I don't, don't want to, like, okay, look here, bro. Y'all are infantrymen. Your job is to provide a gun team. If you can't give me a gun team that can carry a double basic load, you're no good to me, and your ass is on the next helicopter out of here. And you're going to send me a replacement. You go complain to your commander why your infantrymen can't, a gun team can't carry a double basic load up a freaking hillside. You know what I mean? Like, kiss off, dude. Like, get the hell out of here. But people are dumb like that, man. That's, like, they that, don't get it. Right here, it's because that, of stupid situations that's, that's, like this. That's what happened right there. I, exactly. I know exactly what they're... The, the guy in charge, I told you, the sergeant's like, hold on, how did you guys... You didn't go through that many that much ammo? There's no way. They just got caught that breaking enough of ammo because right. they didn't want to carry the wool. The right. <laughs> yeah. That happened. Yeah, kiss off. No, you carry it. <laughs> you carry, and then, carry it. And then you pray to God that you get to open up because then you could dump it. The, the thing happy. is, is they should have given this... They should have put... You know what this guy should have on his back? Maybe he should have 400 rounds of Maybe he should have back. additional just, ammo just and not an extra freaking mind detector. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree, man. It's the dumbest thing. Yeah, oh my God. but you know, like it is what it is. I, I guarantee you that wasn't a gun team dictating that. That was some other idiot. Freaking Christ almighty. <laughs> oh, by the way, this was a year after I was there. Uh, this was 13, 13. Yeah. This is a year after. So thank God he's got his knee pads on though. He does have his knee pad on though. God, that, you know how miserable that is. We're in freaking knee pads walking. Like, why would you even bother with knee pads out there in that environment, man? I hate knee pads. Knee pads are so ridiculous. Hey, at least it's, hey. You, you know where knee pads belong? On your ankle, unless you're in a <laughs> freaking city. You know what I mean? Like, if there's concrete there, I no, got it. But I'm other not, than that, man, I'm, no. I'm not even putting knee pads on then. Oh, those APEL glasses. Yeah. Those these, things are garbage. Pretty much. So he actually spots the guy here running. He actually gives him. A, so this guy just goes out. He goes, you know what? I'm going to send a couple rounds through for no reason because I want to send some. He's in that awkward position. Right. I don't know what he's got on his back, though. I haven't figured that out yet, to be truthful. Litter? I don't know what that is. All right, now we're going to Iraq. This one I thought that? would be... That's a tank. I've never seen this this video. Marines? I, no, I, this, is, this is them taking the Iraqi base. Oh, nice. This is... I've never seen this. So the video footage is going to be a little bit crusty since it is 2003, I believe, right? Yeah. Is it 203? Invasion kicked off March 03. Yeah. This is it. This is the Marines taking it. Bounding. Imagine. This is like real. Remember all those stupid drills? Yeah. This is it right 100% here. 100% getting it. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. No, I'm up amazing. Like, I'm down. Look at their equipment that they're carrying. That they're going. Like gas mask. Because they didn't know. Well, gas mask. But they're also using the old school LBVs. Like oh, the, God. Yes. The, LBVs, the green one. Yeah. 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 Those things sucked. I hated those. But, like, that's what they're rolling with, baby. Tank. Just getting it, man. It's coming in. Look at these guys going across open fields. It kind of gives you goosebumps a little bit, huh? Like, these it guys is. are like, going I got a across. Couple Look at this. Look at yeah. these guys are going across an open field. Look at that. Holy crap. Look at them dudes go. Guys, like, I'm not laying down. I'm, I'm not lying down. I'm getting, <laughs> I'm not getting back up. <laughs> I mean, they're getting it. No, they are, man. They're, they're straight are. up storming that place. This guy in the back right there, that last one. Yep. He wasn't keeping up with his cardio. He can't. He's, he's struggling. Or he's a squad leader because <laughs> it. Yeah. He's not supposed to be online. He's making sure everybody else stays alive. Correct. Like, yeah, no. Oh, gosh. Look at him. Look at the back of the run with that gas mask. This sucks. You yeah, got to admit, look at that smoke, smoke going that through there. Oh, my God. Out, man. You ain't getting that smell out. Why? <laughs> oh, my God. They had to burn their eyes and everything running through there. Oh, what's that? Oh. Oh, man. How did they do all this without their clear eye pro? 
It's so funny. I want to know who the camera guy Who's is. filming this? Yeah. I have no idea. Stay down. Stay down up there, right? What gun is that? I, I don't know. Is that a coax? I, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Because I'm trying to Bam, think. Bam, there it is. I was like, why is it shooting so fast? Yep. Who said they got women and children in the building? Now they have women and children. Parts and now the they got the law. Are they? What was that? What was that? Was that a law? Or I was? didn't even see it, man. All right, those. Oh man, those were horrible. Uh, Peck twos. I, th I just want to want to say it has up on the front of that. I can't remember if it was a Peck two or a Peck four, but to turn the laser on, it had a little paddle on the side of the like on the side of it, and you like pushed the paddle down to like get the. It was a horrible system. I hated the thing, but it worked. Look, there's a VO-17 panel. Like, there's going to be any more Abrams or tanks rolling around right there, but. I could smell right now. I could smell this situation. The fuel being burned off from the tank in the smell of Iraq. <laughs> I could smell that right now. Yeah. Man. God, I wish we had GoPros, like, back in this kind of day. Look at this. First guy stormed in like he was going crazy. <laughs> Next guy's like, uh, so you need some help? Or <laughs> Oh, uh, there's the end of it. Oh, man. Dang. I had have, you seen the, have you seen this before? Did what? I show this to you? Yeah, well, go ahead and throw it up. I don't care. Oh, no, yeah, I've seen this. The uh, it's the, yeah, no, I've oh, seen it. God. Oh, God. Uh, listen, I had to actually upload that video to my uh, YouTube channel just to watch it myself. Kind of goofy. That's why it popped up. Oh, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was good. I kind of enjoyed it. It was fun. If you guys want to see more, please let me know. Maybe I'll be back in the next month or so. But if you want to check me out, I'll be on Twitch live right now. So that was good. Thank you so much. Twitch, I think we Twitch. should do more of those. We should do more of those. Yeah, that was a good time. All right, guys. I'm out.